Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to import a standard CSV file into Excel. And before I continue, if you'd like to get this workbook and uh, also this video tutorial to download, you can go to teachexcel.com and I've got all the materials listed there. Now um, for CSV files, it stands for comma separated values file, but oftentimes it's uh, people refer to CSV files that aren't separated by commas. So I'm going to show you an example of a CSV file. Um, I just got this from the internet. So obviously when you open it in a regular text editor, it's really not going to provide you with anything useful because you're not going to be able to determine what goes where. So that's why most people import this stuff into Excel and um, Excel does it very well. Now these CSV files could be sales reports, uh, inventory counts, a number of things that are um, created by other systems or other machines and you analyze them in Excel. So that's a sample CSV file and let's go ahead and import it into Excel. Now it's actually pretty easy to do. For Excel 2007 simply go to the data tab and select from text. You'll get a little window like this and you can search your computer, find the correct file and uh, for this one it is right here. Double click. A window like this is then going to pop up. It's the text import wizard and this is going to help you make sense of all the data in the CSV file. So the first thing you want to do is figure out if your data in the CSV file is delimited or fixed width and if it is a CSV file that's created from one of your machines you should already know this but uh, delimited just means that there is a character in between each column in the worksheet say a comma or a semicolon and fixed width as it says right here fields are aligned in columns with spaces between each field so for the fixed width it means that it would already be correctly aligned were you to open it in uh, say notepad but uh, I don't know 99% of the time it's going to be delimited so uh, your best bet is just click delimited the next thing is if there's a particular row that you want to start importing data from you can change that right here so start import at row 1 or you could start importing the data at row 6 or whatever you want usually it's best to just leave that at 1 though the next thing once you've selected delimited or fixed width go to next and here if you've selected delimited you're going to be able to choose uh, what actually separates all of the text a tab semicolon comma space or other and you'll notice that uh, just check out the data preview window right here this is what all of the data currently looks like and once we select the correct delimiter the comma you'll notice that it breaks all of the data up by the comma so you can see if this was the correct delimiter if you're not sure and if it didn't look correct you could choose a different one so see if I choose space no that doesn't really look right to me so comma okay that looks like it's right so pretty much if you don't know what the delimiter is that's how you can try and figure it out um, next here you can just choose the column data format most of the time you don't really have to do anything with this though um, you can actually just click finish and all of your data is going to import then go ahead and choose the cell where you would like to put the data and if you choose cell A1 that's where the data is going to start so that's going to be the upper left most cell with data in it um, you can also put it on a new worksheet if you'd like and if you want some more advanced options you can click properties and select a bunch of different things here. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK and you notice all of the data comes in and it looks pretty good. You can go ahead and uh, check over it to make sure that everything is aligned correctly and you have all of the data where it should be um, but otherwise that's pretty much how you import a CSV file into Excel. Now if you have to do that a lot doing it by hand can be labor intensive and in one of the VBA tutorials I'll show you how to modify a um, Visual Basic macro for Excel to determine if you would like to import all of the columns or say you don't want to import 
the city column or you don't want to import the state zip or record manager column in a later tutorial I'll show you how to do that with an Excel macro but for this one that's how you can import CSV files by hand in Microsoft Excel and if you'd like to get the workbook you see here um, go ahead uh, go to teachexcel.com and you can get lots of other stuff there too for Excel so that's about it for this tutorial